What's up, movie fans? I am here with a very brief review of Book Club, the directorial debut by Bill Holderman. It stars Jane Fonda, Mary Steenberger, Candace Bergen, and Diane Keaton. Uh, this film has four women who are very relatable in different aspects, who are different at the same time, who all come together for their love of books. Once a month, they have... Uh, come together throughout their lives, whether they've been married, divorced, what have you, uh, and reunited at least for a day to discuss the book of the month. Um, they have four very different personalities. Uh, Jane Fonda is a chef who uh, can't possibly find the time to find love. Uh, Diane Keaton's character is a recent widow who is trying to come to grips with not having love in her life. Uh, Candace Bergen has been divorced for like 16 years and hasn't ever tried to go out and find somebody. And Mary Steenberger is in a relationship with uh, Craig T. Nelson's character, who is on the verge of, you know, I don't want to say loveless, but there's a lot of love there, but it's just not connecting anymore. So they decide to read Fifty Shades of Grey. And they end up reading all three of the books in the series. And this kind of reignites their passions in different aspects. Uh, I think the film has some really great actresses in it. And there's some good um, good people. You know, some of the males that are in it are very good as well. Um, it is done kind of in a silly manner at some points. Um, I don't know, just the fact that they're it's 2018 and they're just now reading Fifty Shades. Uh, when the book came out like 10 years ago, that is kind of far-fetched in my opinion. Because um, they've had, you know, hundreds of other book opportunities. Thousands of books have come out since Fifty Shades have come out. And more than likely they would have read it then. Um, I don't know if maybe the characters wouldn't have grasped it at the time. Also, there's a lot better literature to read than Fifty Shades, so... Those are like my critiques of the film. It's basically just around the crux of it is why Fifty Shades of Grey. Um, there's a lot of other romantic film or books, I should say, that probably would resonate better with women, um, especially women who are a little bit older. Um, you know, that's just that's just what I what I kind of gather from the film. But it's a sweet movie. My audience was packed, and it was a lot of older people and they loved it they were laughing hard throughout the film and that's really what matters i thought it was fine um i would recommend it if you need a little pick me up need a little fun fun movie you don't have to be you know a little older to enjoy it i did but if you are i think you'd dig it thanks a lot for watching um i wish i would have reviewed this the day i did but i i watched it last week and i just completely forgot it's been a crazy, crazy work week. Um, so there's that. I want to say thanks to everyone watching my videos. Please subscribe. Please share my videos. Help me so I don't have to work a real job. And uh, share my videos. And get my watch time up. I really appreciate it. Uh, wish you all the best. Have a great day.